Are you a Scrum Master? Then the product owner is your best friend. Are you a product owner? Well, then the Scrum Master is your best friend. It might seem a bit dramatic, but if you take it that way, your Scrum team is only going to benefit from it. Watch this video to find out why Scrum Master and Product Owner need to work together as one team and how to achieve this idealistic view. Hey, it's Daria here. Welcome. Let's build some awesome teams. So as I said in the intro, Scrum Master and Product Owner are part of one team and the best results can be achieved when both of them work together to support the Scrum team. Let me give you the cringiest but very relevant analogy. As two parents need to team up and be on the same page when raising children, the Scrum Master and Product Owner need to do the same. Just before you guys get annoyed, I don't mean that developers are children. Far from it. It's just an analogy to get my point across. I took this analogy for a very specific reason. Often the roles of the Scrum Master and the Product Owner are almost seen to be in constant conflict, where the product owner is the bad guy pushing the team to their limits, while the Scrum Master is there to protect them, or the other way around, where the Scrum Master just keeps interrupting the team with processes and practices, while the product owner just tries to get a product delivered. If you look at the two roles as if they were parents, that kind of dynamic seems toxic. So it's a no-no. Okay, let's put that cringy analogy aside and look at its practical and professional application instead. But before I jump into the rest of the video, a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And check out my online store for some guides and templates for building awesome team. Product owner is part of the team. A very common misconception that makes it difficult to build strong connection between the two roles is the belief that the product owner is not actually part of the Scrum team and instead just someone who works with the Scrum team. That often results in the product owner being left out of certain discussions and even sprint events. The biggest offender here is the sprint retrospective. So, Many teams and Scrum Masters decide not to invite their PO into the retro. It almost seems like to them that they're inviting a manager. That's actually one of the common challenges with the role of the product owner, which I'll talk about later in this video. Well, that's obviously not the right way to go to stop inviting a product owner into the meetings. Scrum team consists of three roles, developers, Scrum Master, and product owner. The product owner is part of the team and has to be treated that way. They need to be involved in all relevant Scrum events and participate on the same level as everyone else, being on the same page with your product owner. Next big misconception is that weird sense of conflict between the two roles I talked about at the beginning. Naturally, all three roles in Scrum are created in such a way to create tension. Each role will have a certain priority in mind that might be conflicting with that of other roles. The reason for that is simple. This allows the team to consider various perspectives and come up with the most optimal solution in the given situation. Watch the video on conflict in teams to find out more about why this matters and how to manage it. I'm going to put the link in the description. Anyway, while the disagreements and approaches will happen eventually, both the product owner and the Scrum Master need to come to an alignment around how to work with the team. For example, if the Scrum Master is encouraging the team to use story points for estimation, that would not be okay for a product owner to actively push back on it and ask the team to estimate in hours instead. This would just create a confusion and disarray in the team and will also lead to loss of trust and respect towards product owner and scrum master. That is why it is imperative for the two roles to align on questions like this. This can become especially helpful when you want to convince the team to use maybe a certain practice. The product owner and the scrum master can support each other and bring more weight into the debate. The most important point to keep in mind here, I think, is that the 
product owner and the scrum master work towards the same goals, not against each other. So they better work together to achieve them. Okay, we talked about the ideal state of where we want to, the two roles to go, but to be honest, it's not always that simple. There are some common challenges you might be facing. So let's address challenge number one. Product owner is the team lead. A very common way to organize scrum teams is to make the product owner the scrum team's manager. Or the other way around, the team lead becomes the product owner. That may pose some problems. More specifically, it gives the product owner way too much power over the team's decisions, even if the product owner doesn't mean it. Just the fact that there is a hierarchy will make the team sometimes say yes to things they don't think are possible, leading to overcommitment and unrealistic expectations. This may also make the disagreements between the product owner and the scrum master worse. It may become a power struggle at some point, and I'll talk about it more in just a bit. If you found yourself in a situation like this, you need to have a serious conversation with your product owner about how their position in the organization may negatively impact the success of the team. This all comes down to them acting more as a servant leader rather than a manager and be mindful of the power they have over the team, whether they want to use it or not. Challenge number two, absent product owner. Another common challenge is a product owner who is never there. This may be the case, for example, if the product owner role is just an additional part of someone's job. Another reason may be because the person assigned to the product owner role, well, actually doesn't want to do that job. In this case, the organization may feel that everything is going well because they have a dedicated product owner, but the team feels lost and frustrated because from their point of view, they don't have a product owner at all. It's imperative to make the problem visible as soon as possible. You can even use metrics that can help you bring transparency to the issue. For example, how long and on average does it take to get a reply from your product owner on a product backlog question? How much time exactly in hours does the product owner actively spend with the team whether in scrum events like planning or just in general. The product owner needs to communicate with the team on a daily basis. Daily. If you don't see it happening, it's an impediment to the team's progress and you need to take care of it. Challenge number three. Product owner is the scrum master. Here, I don't mean the product owner is also officially named to be the scrum master. What I mean is, when a team may well have a scrum master, you for example, however, the product owner takes on the decisions and responsibility of a scrum master stepping on their toes and not allowing to do their job. Some scrum masters feel that they need to convince their product owner in some of their decisions. Check with the product owner pretty much every step of what they wanna do, or there are scrum masters who struggle with damaging practices that have been implemented by the product owner that maybe make no sense to the team that they, for whatever reason, cannot remove. Solution? Well, know what your accountability is and what decisions are yours to take and act on it. Your product owner may disagree, but that's not up to them to decide on these topics, same as it's not up to you to decide what will go into the product backlog. Set those boundaries clear and stop asking for permission to do your job. In the end, all of these challenges come down to one biggest challenge of them all. The role of the product owner is poorly defined and is unclear. As all roads lead to Rome, all product owner related challenges usually come out of this one issue. The product owner role is just misunderstood. Yes, I often say that the role of the Scrum Master is very misunderstood, but unfortunately, other elements of Scrum didn't avoid the same fate. And to be able to fully support your product owner and to work with them as a team, you need to address this misunderstanding first. 
here are a few solutions that can help you along the way. One, teach Scrum. If Scrum is misunderstood, then your first step is to make it clear. Help others understand every role in Scrum and put a special focus on the role of the product owner in this case, because, well, we are talking about the product owner here discussed what long-term impacts the organization will see if the product owner is not fulfilling their purpose as it is expected from them in the Scrum framework. If you are looking for a good introduction to Scrum workshop to run for your team, check out my template uh, on this side <laughs> in the store. The link to the introduction to Scrum workshop will be in the description as always. Okay, number two, bring in useful practices. Apart from teaching Scrum, well, Scrum theory, help your product owner be more successful with popular product-related practices. Things like product vision, elevator pitch, user story mapping, lean canvas, and more. Not only it is a great way to make clear steps towards better product, but it's also a great way to engage the whole team in the discussions and the decision process. And three, work with your stakeholders. And of course, remember your stakeholders are there and they care about the success of the product. And hence the success of your Scrum team, they care about it a lot. And here I don't mean just teach your stakeholders Scrum. Look at how closely your team works with the stakeholders and whether they need to be more involved. Ask questions like, are they attending your sprint reviews regularly? Do they participate in prioritization workshops with your product owner? Do they know what the definition of done is for your product? This, these are just a few questions that popped into mind when I was thinking about how product owner, stakeholders, and the team work together. They need to be involved because this is the way how you can make sure that your product owner is successful in fulfilling their purpose. Okay. Let's summarize what we covered in this video. Product owner is part of the Scrum team, same as the Scrum master and developers. The Scrum master and the product owner need to work as a team and be aligned on what practices to use and processes to follow. The three common challenges that we see with the product owners are number one, the product owner is the team lead, which gives them way too much power over the team's decisions. Number two, the product owner is absent, which slows down team progress and creates a lot of frustration. Three, the product owner steps over the Scrum Master role. The biggest reason for all of these challenges is usually that the role of the product owner is misunderstood and unclear. As a Scrum Master, you can help resolve that challenge by teaching Scrum, bringing in useful practices, and working closely with stakeholders. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Check the news, product owner guide, and other guides and templates in my store. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and Scrum on.